astral damage, it's slightly unfair. Oh, it's totally broken, Maybe I'm it's, sure. It's less of a hero counter that way. Yeah. But yeah, like, now it just becomes, like, the other way, where OD is one of the few heroes that can actually harass a fuck when he's not getting solo killed. Okay, this is an issue. I think he's quite dead. He's, uh, Void denies himself to neutrals. Oh, no, self? Oh, oh, right oh no. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, yeah. no. That's a first blood. Oh, God. Easy game. Okay, the there was an miss. uphill miss, too, Jesus. to be fair, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. Poor fuck, man. And then that Void died as well. Is that the neutrals? Yeah, that yeah was his was neutrals. Bad. Tides was not. Luna getting the run back up top. They find the Ogre as well, but he's Gucci. Yeah, he's Duke and Jack. So he might think there's more kill potential than there is. Yeah, that's true. Uh, top lane, Ignite as well. They're running him down. There's no Orb of Venom here. And we'll see if that ends up making a difference. Sam is also chasing down the Luna. Try and keep an eye on hers. The beatdown continues. Torrent's there. What a save. Oh, can't get the Ignite off, but now he's just running back. Tide's going to pincer him in, and, uh, well, he is quite dead. Deny yourself to the tower, I suppose. And force them to split. Oh, he still gets the kill. Eh? Yeah, because the right click was soon enough anyway. Uh, there was no play there. No. Get out. And they're trying to make something happen on the puck here, but there's the silence. And... That was a good face shift. Yeah. Got the astral there. That was a dead pool. Yeah, he wants a TP so he can react, or he wants his team to come to him, but the team's not going to move when this Ogre and Tide are putting so much pressure. <laughs> He's trying to ring around the Rosie, but there is a Lucid Beam here, so Ogre not going to live through that one. It's not too bad that he dies here, though, because Tide's nearly level 6. They're putting a lot of pressure on this lane. You can see the CS disparity between Luna and Drow, and that's a decent chunk, and they just... They aren't really losing too much for it. If you look at the net worth, they've and had the, a few kills go their way, but look at this. I know, and they come back and like the resources, it takes so much to kill with this ogre or deal with this tide hunter that by the time Ogre comes back, like they're still all so weak. Like look at this Kunkka. I mean, Rubik gets run down, Kunkka's still under the tower, now Luna's coming back, she's half HP. Like, goodbye to your Kunk. Oh, oh, Ignite. Yeah, it's still gonna get him. But now they're on top of the Luna, no mana left, Puck's here. And that'll help with the ogre oh, raindrop. That's a foil for the ogre. Yeah, that Feels might, bad, man. Boop. Now, that's not a rotation you have to work. You might wish to Again, there's not really that much, I suppose. I mean, I. Yeah, no. Nah, good good luck that, hiding that guy. It doesn't sound like a player name. So weird. Wait, which one? You know, when you. <laughs> when you watch oh, yeah. Twitch streams and you hear all these donations. Just. No, they're trying to kill the tide. Should be successful this puck rotation. Yeah, Kraken will, you know, purge one thing off, but won't be enough here by the looks of I mean he's trying. Uh, Their right clicks are shockingly low and they didn't have the best yeah. positioning, but Rubik just scares it. So nice anchor so smash plays. Wow. It's surprising Luna stayed that long. Yeah. Because like they stand and problem. knew that he was there. Maybe yeah. they didn't know about the yeah. invis room though. That must have been it, eh? Yeah, but how else? They had a lane walk. So I don't know if they. Anymore. Yeah, I don't know either. To be honest with you. Uh, that is three dead heroes. And Drow rotates up. Is. Nice free tower. All right. Well, that was weird. And now we've hit snowball time, right? I mean, this is OD comes out of laning. Yeah, I don't think. It's a while ago. Like Veil first was a flash in the pan. Yeah, we've mostly moved on from there. But this rotation might work out. Double Chrono. Wow, uh, uh, fully oh, commits. he just hit level 6. He just hit level 6. Go as well. Uh-oh. Well, there's oh, a the silence. Gets the puck outside the phase shift, that. and there goes your void. So, your one hole. Talk about flashes <laughs> in the pan. That's one right there. And hopefully, it can escape without a defensive coil, or else this game's super over. Rubik goes to the TP, but there's an Astral. The lifter becomes lifted. Puck will make it out, but obviously the Rubik was quite dead. And I think he uh, had the two nine five hundred. Yeah, exactly. Know? Like one creep. Oh, another lift here, and another punished hero. It's the silence. We'll stop any sort of a time walk. And well, the train—it's got no brakes. It's high ground. There's still a rabbit. Would hit like. As the timing a minute ago uh, to be slightly stronger, but when you have the mech, it's assuming he goes mech. Uh, sorry, fight. 
He, doesn't yeah, go he might just bail over. out for the mech too, I guess. So it looks like he I'd is. I'd rather have seen like the mech first. Regrouped here. A little bit of a reset positioning cast. Good play there with the vision into the swap. Turn this into another free kill. Another silence. Yeah. Throws down a death I ward. Seen that as well. Many they checked his inventory. That's a nice free D ward, but I guess they didn't. Plus the sentry didn't pop one. They will take any free kill they get. They don't really need to be given anything either. They're in a position where they can take what they want, which is buildings and Roshan. They have to be slightly careful with the Rosh though. Buildings are a lot easier to siege. Especially when Dying your Luna's in the jungle on her own, dying. Yeah, they're just out of sorts here, it seems. Uh, maybe commit everything on top of this OD. Hurricane Pike's there. This is a one-man yeah, chrono. Maybe. They don't even have the damage. Oh, maybe with the boat, too. Good swap to get him out of position, though. Cooking just self-astral. Up on the high ground, Elemental Rior dueling out. There's the Ravage coming through. That'll finish him off. And then onto the Puck. X is here on the Cuckoo, but... What's that? Oh, he got the Ravage, yeah. Nice, nice. A little bit of an error there from Sam H. Oh, who gives a shit, man? Like, if he gives away Ravage, they're still gonna win the fight. If anything, he's just baiting the Dyer into a fight. Yeah, yeah. Just give them Ravage, see if they'll fight us. Now, next to Roche. So, any kill. Yeah, they're, they're just grasping at straws. To be fair, Cuckoo's like. alone here. They actually didn't follow yeah. him. Yeah, but he ain't dying. Okay, yeah, he's Hurricane Bike back up now. Self Astro for the Eclipse play. We're just uh, not quite thinking here, I think. Dire probably a little bit, you know, out of sorts again. A little tilted, maybe, because that's just no way that works. Little bit. Revenge stun into another swap. That's an ogre. Hey, there's a ravage from the Rubik. Got him. Silence comes in. It's only harassing. Here a ravage. Yeah. Put that one on the highlight reel for the Rubik. Yeah. Better than Kazu's ravage, I think. <laughs> I actually no way. I think that's worse than Kazu's ravage. Well, Kazu's was mud golems though, up. so. Well, them at all. And none of them are tanky enough. Whereas TNC got what they need. They got an Aegis now. They have like aura heroes. Glimmer Cape oh, approaching really here on the hero, Luna. But... Stun. Slowed. I mean, <laughs> body block. Oh god, this is just depressing at this point. Just I think please. He TP out. Yeah. Rip. I I'd be done once that happens. I'm out of there. You know. Once there's an ogre. Just uh, again, more of this just blink silence. Oh, almost left a little bit of a moment there. Oh, well, Cuckoo's going in. He's like, I have a space shift and orb. So, uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Then the coil actually gets astralled by the Rubik, so it didn't do anything. Yeah. Like, nuking the hero set doesn't actually do anything. You have to use it on the creeps. Because look at the heroes. They yeah, what's the point? 300 damage, right? You let the creeps get to the base, and yeah, sure, like, I appreciate they're gonna be in front of the creeps, but doing that didn't do anything. That's a decent chrono. Nice Astro, though. I saw it coming. And the Eclipse is coming through, so that'll be the Aegis burnt down. They lose the Venge, too. She comes into the fray. Void goes Golden down from chrono. Yep. Ravage again. He's on cooldown, and he has no mana. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. He gets the cooldown. That's depressing. It looks like inexperience, honestly. I don't know. And now, like, this guy's exiting him to his death. <laughs> oh. Getting a little bit of outclassed here. Okay, yeah. We're not gonna look at buildings. Buildings don't matter this game. We're just uh, hit fountaining. Hit heroes, guys. Hey, there you go. Cuckoo. Alright, Rubik's buying back. He's in for this. He wants the EXP. Void silence once again here, being a recurring theme. Goes down before he can get the time walk. Cuckoo now fully healed. Did he salve? He bought a salve, I think, before he yeah. astral. Yes. What a player. And now he's just blinking for it. Look, look, he, he holds the sandals. He's like, I mean, I could. Oh, he's gonna one shot this Luna. Just do it. Do what? <laughs> oh, he didn't one shot. That's good enough. That was dude. disappointing. I really thought it would. Yeah. I mean,. Luna has a uh, staff of wizardry, a healer, wand. That's 50 in. No, that's respectable. Yeah, well, this turns into a pretty quick 2 0. Rather convincing. This party is uh, about yeah. to start happening. <laughs> party early. It's uh, a good way to start there.